into social misconduct with Mick and B. Wall, only on LA Talk Radio. <laughs> you just sat down so fast. <laughs> I was like, wait, what's going on? <laughs> Uh, I just got up and I saw Sam's hand. I'm like, oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> we're live. We're live. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> we always come on laughing and people be like, what the fuck are they doing? You we should have been there. We ratchet. Like. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, Ron's back. He's going to Do like... you really have a pile of trail mix? He does. <laughs> <laughs> so ghetto right now. Welcome to Ratchet Social Misconduct today. This food got trail mix. They said it's nasty. Sitting on his show notes. It's good as fuck right now, though. Yeah. We are not going to do that (laughs) shit. I will reach over and turn both mics off. We are not doing that today. Do you manage to do that? I will get up on air, walk over, and turn the bitch off. You know me. Why are you acting new? I thought you were going to do it from your seat, like. You know my arms ain't that damn low. <laughs> I ain't going to even front like I can do that shit. No. Well, before we even go further, we have to say happy birthday to Nikki. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Nikki. Nikki. Send me a text happy right now. Happy birthday, Nikki. Really? Send us Nikki, a text. you hear that shit? That dry ass happy birthday he just gave you? Like, you ain't the homie. Like, she don't watch every show and support us every week. Why are you trying to make me feel bad? Because I, I need gave a better her, happy birthday. I gave her a happy birthday separate from yours. You can't do another one? I, this is a collective social misconduct happy birthday. Happy the birthday, fuck? Nikki. I told her earlier, too. We telling the world right now. <laughs> 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 she texted and said, fuck you, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Can Nikki uh, nickname be Big Booty Judy? <laughs> Nikki. <laughs> yes, I love that. I'm gonna call Big her that from booty now. Judy. Um, y'all should have saw the birthday card I gave her. It's a cat like dressed up like a rapper. You know she love cat, and it mm-hmm. was like, yo, something I want to wish you a happy birthday for shizzle, and then I put from your nizzle, Nikia. I had to be lame and corny because it's fun. You get points for doing it on purpose. You oh, lose it's on points purpose. for even doing it. It's on purpose, of you course. You get points for doing it on purpose, but then you lose points for, for even doing, doing it. it. No. So will she break even? Uh, no. no, no points lost because it's like our jokes. So. Exactly. No points lost. She's like, boom, boom. Nope. No point. I gain points. I didn't lose. I don't That's, fucking that lose. That looks like it broke even. It did. Okay. Boom, boom. Okay. Two steps forward. I don't lose. Two steps so back. You know. You're still a winner. Always. Okay, would it be better if you lost first and then gained? No, I don't lose, though. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing lost is what I'm saying. Are, are we... The fuck? Fine, <laughs> get your mind right over there, okay? Get it together. Don't come here talking shit. <laughs> fuck him still up chewing. with a bottle of water right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already in a fighting mood today because somebody tried it Were you today. Trying to get... yes. A motherfucker tried me, and I had to put that motherfucker in his place. Don't look over here. No, it wasn't, wasn't me. me. I, don't, I can only be one or two motherfuckers <laughs> in the same sentence anyway. I didn't probably call you five motherfuckers Yeah, but I'd have said before. something back after the third That's one. That's true. It wasn't me. No, it wasn't him. It was somebody that tried me and didn't know that um, you don't try me and just walk away easy. Who so. didn't know that? Uh, this motherfucker did not. So Homeboy lucky I wasn't around He there. learned <clears> today. <throat> he's Let real lucky I wasn't around there. there. Everybody gotta learn someday. He, he's lucky I'm not around. I went around. Yeah, it just us his, together. <laughs> his boy, his boy is scared of me. Us his together is of me. never a good thing. Going off, it's bad. Mm-hmm. So sounds juicy. No, we ain't gonna get into the, to that no, we'll situation. We'll tell you later. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we ain't gonna tell the world, but mm-hmm. people just need to know a motherfucker tried it today and did not succeed. Damn, that was like five motherfuckers. That's all, because that's what he is. So. Just saying. Anyway, speaking of Nikki, we were together all weekend, which was weird for us. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're never together like for a full weekend, but we were, and we ended up randomly going to the food and wine festival. Look at me, <laughs> are, you, are you salty? He's not. Mm-hmm. That's fine. We're going to the whiskey and. Well, I fest. hit him up. <laughs> Is there one? We're gonna we're gonna find, find one. one. Oh, God. Y'all, y'all just create one. Y'all don't give a fuck. I'll buy the whiskey. Well, no, I hit B up. He was just taking too long to reply, and I was already with Nikki. She like, hey. So we, we ended up going, and I covered it for Press Pass, but like, so that's how I got the passes. But it was very last minute, and we ended up 
attending and the roots were performing which was dope mm. and it was like food and wine booths and all this shit so i didn't even get tipsy though i was kind of upset because of that why like, why just did you not taste enough i don't yeah. i mean i had a few glasses <laughs> i think i'm immune to that shit now i don't know like I mean, I had tequila, wine. Like, we had some drinks. I don't know. And we drank earlier because we ate before. Like, we, we had drinks. Maybe I don't, because you I don't ate. Know. Alcoholic? That could be it. Because when I eat, I'm, that's it. It's a done deal. Unless yeah, I'm like. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. But Yeah, because when we were at that other event last week, you didn't take much. And you were like, oh, I'm straight. I'm good. I'm good. I don't need nothing else. Yeah, I mm-hmm. don't know. Yeah. Maybe I need to switch up what I'm drinking. Or I mean, I'm Come not drinking. Come to the whiskeys. Come no, over there with us. But that's a, it has to taste good. Like, that's gross, though. It's liquor. It never tastes good. No, that's not true. Look, I drink mm, tastes good. Moscato always tastes good. I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why y'all be pulling. <laughs> Didn't I say a motherfucker tried me? <laughs> you tried me right now, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it. He said it, and my face was like, <laughs> "You know, I was like, yeah, right, no, no." no. <laughs> right, I'm like, uh, Moscato is like the grown person's apple juice. <laughs> <laughs> it really, is. that shit is like liquid potent jello. Like, no, it's just disgusting. No, I'm good. It's just too sweet. It's like, man, you gotta be like the only option, and then I'll drink it. But mm-mm. what's the only option? Like you at a party and it's like unbearable, so you just gotta have. You just something. gotta have some liquor, yeah. It's just. Mm-mm. But the alcohol content of Moscato ain't even gonna it's be like, too That's like yeah. you, that's why you're supposed to chug it like a juice box. But even still, like if you it gotta doesn't, drink like a bottle and a half. Yeah, you but if it's not, if it's not getting you to the point to where you. If you drink, oh, a, bottle if you drink right, a bottle of Moscato like to the head, you you can be Gucci. I do it. You'll feel it. You'll feel something, but yeah. not like, you be like I'm a pro at this shit when, when it comes to wine, so not really. Because, mm-hmm. you know, I could kill a bottle easy, mm-hmm. like, tonight, like, Shut when down. I get home. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, I may have to because my entire family will be here um, over oh. the next three days. They're all coming in. We have to record when are they getting you. Here? Starting tomorrow. Oh, They're shit. coming, like, different days. So starting tomorrow. I want to record And this. then some come in Thursday and then, like, Friday. So, yeah. And they'll be here through Tuesday. Is the National Guard going to be called out? Maybe. Extensions of you are going to be here? This is <laughs> good. I, know. I love them dearly and I can't wait to see them, but somebody's going to annoy the fuck out of me. And I don't know who's watching right now <laughs> out of all of them, but I am talking to you. <laughs> Guard your loins. Just saying. When wow. all of us get together, I just don't know. But I'm excited to see my cousin. My cousin. It is a holiday weekend, right? Mm-hmm. Coming up. Yeah, oh, that's so that's why they're is. coming. Yeah. You barbecue? I might find somebody that's barbecue. <laughs> he like I may be having barbecue. No, no, I'm saying you know I come get you. Yes, I want some barbecue. Yeah, you just gotta good. find somebody. Cause that's oh my one year was yesterday. I know I saw, oh, I saw that. that. Congrats. So I really want some barbecue because when I came here last year, I didn't smell a thing. <laughs> yeah, they don't really. I didn't smell a damn thing. You gotta go to the hood, like or like someone with a house. Like you're not really gonna get barbecue like that here. I don't know. People in LA just don't really. They go out for shit. It's weird. Yeah, there's some good barbecue places. Yeah, but it ain't the same. Like throwing it on your own. I mean, certain shit. people I know will barbecue if they have a house and My a sister, yard. But yeah, they always barbecue. But they live in Bethlehem. Like they stay. In <laughs> Why do I, I'm thinking in my head like Bethlehem, California? <laughs> Where is this? Where is this? Oh they stay in um God. the OC. Like, Ooh, Jesus. Uh, well, yeah. Well, the homie the barbecues is down there too. So. Yeah, I was gonna say either way. Yeah. There we go. That's when we gonna be. Where at. you would be going? Mm-hmm. Boiling. Yeah, I ain't doing shit. I'm going to be a tourist, though. Because you know they want to do all this. You know how people come. Because some of them, they've never been here before. Oh, no. So they want to do all that touristy shit that I got to do. Like, ugh. I just say, out-of-towners, when you come here, don't even waste time going to Hollywood. It's Everyone not what does you think that, it is. though. You have it's to, It's not though. what you, you think it to. is. You no, have I have to give it. Like, you do have to you do have it. To go. They're going to be disappointed. Well, yeah. Let them experience that shit and be disappointed, though. They like act, we were. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? No, they act like they go see Julia Roberts <laughs> no, jogging. Like, it's not, not. that. It's, Hollywood is so is only pretty from the sky yeah. to, the, like, where the mountains That's and it. the street meet. That is it. And after that, it's just like, Okay. So it's this dirty. So the ground is, y'all don't ever power wash this yeah, motherfucker? Ever. Like, no, just, okay. I love it, though. 
I, it's cool, but don't come here thinking you're going to see, you know. Some stars. girl was outside my window because, you know, I stayed right there. She was outside my window the other night. It was like 3 in the morning. She was mad, crying because she wanted to suck some dick. Like, I just want to suck <laughs> some dick. <laughs> All right, then, girl. I'm, I'm, laying on, I'm laying on the floor. I know you got like, up. I know he got up. I'm like, like go get you some dick, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I can so see it. I can so see it. <laughs> Can't. She was crying like to the she point was of- so serious. She just needed some dick in her mouth, like as she just needed it, like just fainting for that shit. I guess, girl, <laughs> I can't. That's Hollywood, though. Why wow. it is? That's that Hollywood. is the essence. You see the wildest shit. I love you, it. That's Hollywood. From my window, I love it. And you have to experience that shit. Like I won't even deprive anyone of the experience. Hollywood is get. Roseland. That's what Hollywood is. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not what people think it is. It's so. <laughs> oh shit! That's a perfect description. Yeah, Hollywood is Roseland, Michigan it's, Avenue. Yes, yes. I see celebrities not in Hollywood. <laughs> they <laughs> <never> randomly, <laughs> like maybe Beverly Hills, maybe Santa Monica, like stuff like that. And that'll be like farmers market, like random ass places or at the mall. Starbucks. Yeah, Starbucks. You know this like, mall, this this little shitty mall over here. Uh huh. Every time I go there, I see somebody. Really. Really? I, I seen, I mean, they're not like A-listers no more, but I seen, uh, what's the dude from Lost Boys? Corey Feldman? Oh, yeah. I yeah. see him every time I go there. So every Tuesday, he's at the mall. He probably live over here, too. Because yeah. a lot of celebrities do live in Sherman Oaks and like this area. So, yeah, I guess. But but not in Hollywood. Like, not unless there's a premiere. You're not really going to see I just can't there. wait to see their faces. When like. they see it? <laughs> This is Hollywood. They're gonna be so let down. What's somebody would have caught my face? <laughs> like the fuck? I, yeah. I got a I got a smell when I first walked in. No, oh it yeah, the, the smells will hit you too. Yeah. And then Batman and Spider Man and Captain you know. Jack Sparrow. Yeah. That man nobody. That Spider Man is insulting. And you that Michael no that onesie. Michael Jackson though. <laughs> Instead of one. Yeah, my spider had on a onesie. He cut the bottom out and put it on some fucking Tims. You stupid. That ain't Spider Man. No. <laughs> <laughs> but that Michael Jackson, he crazy as hell. Michael Jackson is outrageous. Like outrageous. I need him to calm the fuck down. I was like, you do know you're not really Michael, right? <laughs> you do know he's dead. And he might think he's Michael. Because he was taking it way too serious. I was like, dude. Did he have calm, a chimp on his arm? Calm the fuck Listen. down. Was he carrying Webster? Listen. Remember when Michael Jackson used to do that? He used yeah. to carry Webster on his arm. Oh, the monkey? Right. No, the little boy. That was a grown man that looked like a little boy. Yeah. Webster. The oh, you too young. He's, he wouldn't. Yeah, know. I'm like, I don't. <laughs> Remember when it? Remember, remember back in the '80s when it, it when it was like the thing to have like a midget black kid on the show. I was born in '89. Okay, so okay. you remember That's Arnold? That's so close to '90. Oh my god! You remember Arnold from Different Strokes? Jesus. Gary Coleman. Yes. Right. All right. The other one. There was another midget. Yeah. It was, it was, it little was, person. I was gonna say I don't think that's the word. Whatever. We, we little person. <laughs> Year of the midget. <laughs> we need to get into the stories. Y'all stupid. <laughs> Webster. <laughs> Webster. He had a S he had like a Jerry Curl. He was the Jerry Curl version of Gary Coleman. You're so stupid. That's I'm creepy. dead serious. No, he really And Michael Jackson used to carry him around on his arm like a and pet. And people used to get them mixed up all the time. <laughs> they were two black little people on TV. Like You guys do with that. their I own do. shows. It's okay to say midget for the people in the eighties because they were being called midgets in the eighties. This is recent now where they could call them little people, yeah. right? So I can say midget for Webster, right? Uh, I just, no, I don't. I don't know. We can't say shit nowadays. I don't. Uh, know. Right. Okay, you can <clears> kick <throat> it off. Inmate gets arrested again for refusing to leave <laughs> jail because it's such a great place to be. The fuck? That's that meth. <laughs> yeah, he was a meth head. I know. <laughs> a meth head in Arizona named David Spurlock mm. was arrested for drug charges. They wanted to release him. He didn't want to leave, so they Hell forced no, him to leave. no, he won't go. They forced mm-hmm. him to leave, so he tried to hijack a sheriff's <laughs> truck of some sort, and they just threw his ass back in jail. He's like, I'm going to just commit this crime so y'all can just y'all can go, go ahead. ahead and He clearly me. did it on purpose. Yeah, clearly. Like, so I mean, funny. you're basically giving him what he wants. Oh, my God. And, they, and, and when you're in jail, they feed you three times a day, That's right? What, and a lot of people, I heard a lot of homeless people. They do that on purpose. It will commit, like, crimes just to go. That's sad. It is sad. But he's just. He fucked up on drugs. So, <laughs> different story. Okay, so this is getting shit out of me. <laughs> this man walks into a funeral and scares everyone because it was his own funeral. Um, I don't really understand how people thought that it was him when it was his coworker that looked like him. 
they looked a lot alike apparently but, but, but the names like do they have the same name like i don't understand how this happened maybe the co-worker didn't have no family maybe so people are there for this man's funeral <laughs> And he walks in to see the, his coworker, you know, like he's at the funeral and everybody start running and shit, people screaming. Like. This would have been awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. This would like, have been awesome. So he looking around like, what? Like, <laughs> people are like running and <laughs> shit see. and screaming. That is hilarious, but what the fuck? I would have been, been on the floor. <laughs> I nah, I would have ran too. I ain't gonna even lie. Really? This is a dead motherfucker standing here. Who, if you here, who the fuck is that? That like, would have scared me at first, but everyone else would have. Oh yeah, that would have been funny. And then I would, I would have been no good for the rest of the funeral. That would have freaked me the fuck out. Well, the but... funeral was uh, essentially over at the point that he walked into it. <laughs> so it wasn't, it wasn't anything, you know. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it just didn't give me enough information on like the co-worker and how people didn't realize like how do you think you're there for one person and like it's someone else did he not have a name like i'm just so confused yeah i bet what happened was the guy ended up dying one of this other guy's family members went down and identified him oh. probably not even a close mem fa member of the family probably identified okay. him or something and then it's like where have you been though for the past like week or two that's what crossed my mind like, like what was he doing for a week? you <laughs> you didn't go to work that whole week, right? Like, like nobody was so like, "Oh my God, God you're dead!" <laughs> right? Like he was using that shit as a, he he probably knew what had happened, what had happened, and was like, "I'm gonna take me a couple of days off, I'm gonna chill, and then I'm gonna tell people when I feel like you know going back." It to It was work. just so weird, and I thought it was like fake at first, but I saw it multiple places. I was like, "Okay, well, I guess this is real." <laughs> yeah, that shit was crazy. That was actually on um, I think Mike Epps' blog. You believe in ghosts? Yes. I but, do. I've seen them. No, I mean, that's fine, but like... Nope, but I do believe in them. <laughs> <laughs> As a nope. kid, I swear to God. But My the, sister used to see them the, all the time. But the guy, like, okay, so what do they look like to you? People. But I'm saying, do they look like... No, like... The part, like... Like flesh and blood, like you can still touch them? Yes. Have you ever touched one? Hell no, it freaked me the fuck out. I'm not, like, gonna walk in... No, I'm okay. not... Okay. Mm-mm. Because I'm thinking, Death like... Death and all that shit, like, I'm not... I don't embrace all that, so I'm no. just thinking of all the all the people at that funeral did not one of them before they went think, running out. Right, think like, maybe it's his spirit here. He, yeah, you know. that's true. Hmm. No, like my mother said the same shit. Like when her father died, he would come and visit her and talk to her and shit. Like a lot of people say that and talk to her mm -hmm. spirits. People say that all the time, and I'd be like, really. I got this thing where if stuff happens. There, I find some logical explanation mm -hmm. for it. And if I can't, it didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> well, then. Okay. Because you, you know how movies, like, if when, once they start, like, giving attention to it, that's when shit that's starts happening. Yeah, so. I got you. Go ahead and do your thing, spirit. Don't right, right. The spirits are usually chill until yes, you call until. the priest. That's Once true. Once the priest comes in. You call the priest, you get the video camera, now you're pissing them off. Yeah. Go ahead, do your thing, spirit. This shit right here. <laughs> this shit right here, nigga? <laughs> like... <laughs> I found this this morning. I had to say, I was like, I got to talk about this shit. What? This bitch crazy. She need, man, you know what? She is unstable, clearly. For one, you're 16, and, and she, she said she was pregnant. But go ahead. I didn't even think about her. I'm thinking about how does a company like this well, exist? that's a different, yeah. So T there's two issues with this story. Okay, so first issue, clearly, is the teen girl who's 16, and she's faking like she's pregnant. Yes. The follow-up issue is that she got items to make her look like she was pregnant from a legitimate uh, with triplets, triplets from a legitimate company that sells fake pregnancy shit, so it's, you can fake being pregnant. It's called fakeababy.com. Just saying. Oh. I'm yeah, it exists. That's we some should, bullshit, we should go on man. We, should, we need to pull it up to see like what they got, because this shit is crazy. Who does this? Man, I'm just thinking of all the gold digging hoes that's gonna be using this shit today. You, that already are using this shit. Can you imagine? If you a basketball baby. player, football player, you may want to watch out for this site because these hoes better get marry crafty. Your, better marry your high school sweetheart, homie. So she claims that she was actually pregnant. She lost the baby at like 16 weeks and didn't know how to tell people. Um, I lost my baby. I lost the baby. Like, <laughs> I don't really understand why that was hard. But yeah, so she didn't know how to tell people. So 
Let's make two more. She covered it up by going to this website and buying all. She spent $149 in props, fake belly, sonograms, all type of shit. And <laughs> so hold on. She was faking like she was pregnant. No, or she really was pregnant. Then she faked Dude, it. she did this for 10 months. So she was faking for 10 months. No, she did it for so she claimed she was actually pregnant at one point, lost the baby, and then to keep it going, she didn't know how to tell people she lost the baby. So to keep it going, she went to this site and like bought a belly it to keep growing like all of that shit i don't get what what was so hard about just saying i lost the baby though what's supposed to happen i think she wanted the and gifts what was and gonna shit. happen yeah during the lip like she wanted the gifts and shit she wanted so, yeah, the she attention got, and the she gifts had and a baby that. shower and people were donating and shit and like yeah so she was scheduled for a c-section last week but she refused to go to the hospital and then later she said she lost her baby early so she admitted this clearly and then a lady on facebook in this group of like mothers of triplets or some shit she joined this group because she really kept this lie going so the mother one of the mothers spotted like looked at the sonogram and was like mm, that don't look right bitch because i'm actually pregnant with triplets so how all the babies in the same position though no, something ain't right so she called this bitch out and that's how like the truth is kept like <laughs> But, uh, no, no, no. But <laughs> and so she finally like told the truth, and like her brother was like, "Yeah, we're gonna make her give all the money back and like to get all that shit." Cause you know, what you gonna do with baby gifts anyway with no fucking baby? With no baby, girl. Sell them on eBay. This shit. She what? named the baby. She named them. She gave them names. What? What the fuck kind of company is this? What? I don't. I'm. I'm mad at the company though. I'm upset. Yeah, I'm worried at the about her mental and huh. then this company no. i don't give a fuck about her there's no. a, about a lot of crazy motherfuckers out there i want to know about this company like yeah. that's more crazy motherfuckers that, you, right. that you're not worried about exactly that's, that's all it is clearly but they making money off this shit hey. so did she and hey the, i just i, I mean I'm crazy just, make money off the crazy i'm just thinking of the <laughs> the, the implementation I'm, I'm thinking of what the crazy people are gonna do i mean i feel bad like you said for any athlete out there yeah any like, any rich person, any dude yeah. with any kind of celeb, anything mm -hmm. like shit. Even a regular nigga look working Safeway or some shit gonna have some crazy broad trying to. That's true. But who wants to actually be pregnant? Oh my god! It's not about. It's not even who? about who act like who. I really just want to be. I really just want to do nothing for nine months. But see, here's the thing, though. If you're not really pregnant, you're not going really going through the bad shit. They but could come like wear gifts. This fake but you gotta ass. wear this stuff, and you gotta play the part. Like, let's go she, out, girl. But only, but only when people water. are around. Her. It's not like she gotta sleep with the shit. On. Like but this when is you're, a, this is fraud, and they're helping with the fraud. No, this is I crazy. Agree. But yes. when you're pregnant, people usually are around you because you know people. Because you're pregnant. All, yeah, like. You can't do shit for yourself no. when you're pregnant. People are around you all the time. And God forbid you don't play the part. Like she was probably doing the most. Yeah. Like <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, can you help me sit? Like, can you get me something to eat? I got craving. <laughs> all that shit. I bet you. She probably was doing the most for ten months, which ten was a months. month too fucking long. Well, some women carry for ten months. But still That's what fat bitches do. I can't. Nope. <laughs> I'll just ignore that. <laughs> Okay, so this Mexican man um, claims to have a 19, well, 18.9, we just going to say 19 inches, 19 inch penis, and it's causing him issues, and women are afraid. Yeah. So, you know how men joke all the time about having a large one. He nice. claims he actually has this, even though doctor said it's just like a lot of extra skin. What the fuck? You dirty motherfucker. What? Hold on. What? Whoa. Uh, the doctor said that most of it is extra skin. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't, I just don't get this whole story. So but. he has, I don't know how big it really eight is. inches of a real penis and, <laughs> and the rest is like 10, 10 inches, inches of, of like hanging girl. ass skin. Like, I don't know. Turkey neck. Like what is it? He said that it goes far below the knees. That <laughs> is disgusting. <laughs> I can't. That's disgusting. So it measures 13.38 inches, and then, like, the tip or something was like, another, the rest. Another five. Yeah. And some change. I don't, I just, gross. I can't. He's like 52. But what I want to know is you're 52 years old. Why is, why are you just talking about it? Did it just grow like, I'm pretty sure he hasn't really shown anybody. But, like, why is this a story? Like, I don't understand why you care now. 
Why I, he just talking about it? You're 52 years old. You haven't had this shit for 52 years. Because it's ruined his life for 52 years. I want to know. I want to. Uh, even more, more important question. More important than everything else. Has he ever had sex? Right. Because he said women are afraid. Yeah. But Which I would fucking be. Like, if it. If it. If it. He's fucking with a grew selfie Gradual stick. over time. There may have been one point in time where he could have been fucking. I'm curious if he ever got some pussy. And then what condition is this? Like, yeah, what, what is going that? on? And the doctor's like, we don't know. What? You need to go to better doctors. Like, I don't understand. Something. Is that the picture? What is that? Yeah, that's like the x-ray. Because people didn't believe him, so. Oh, he, that's the x-ray mm-hmm. that looks like. I don't. <laughs> it does look just like that, what you just said. Oh, my I God. Thought like a, I thought that was a tail. Okay. So, poor man. I don't know what to say about that. It's just gross. <laughs> Let's be real, though. Let's be real. Look at the, look at the picture. Look <laughs> at the picture of this guy. I, I did. So, even if he was rocking something a little bit more regular, right. he's still scary. He is. Oh. He's still scary. Poor man. I don't know what else to say. He needs to just get surgery and get some of that extra skin removed since that's what it is. Maybe he should be like, no, <laughs> I'm sure he can get a job in some niche porn, something. Oh, I'm sure. Something. Right. Maybe that's why he's coming out. He Maybe. needs money. He's broke and homeless. Yeah, he said that. Like so. it's hard for him to walk. Hard. <laughs> it's <laughs> difficult. Boom, <laughs> boom. <laughs> <laughs> difficult for him to walk and all that other shit. So. <laughs> yeah, fuck, you got a fucking kickstand. Smacking you in the knee all the time. Like a kid. Okay. Next. I wonder if it works like an elephant trunk. Okay. I wonder if it works at all. Like, at all. He be picking shit up with it. <laughs> you know what I'm he got a little ant eater. Ah, uh, gross. <laughs> the remote control over there. I don't right. feel like getting up. He <laughs> just flinging him. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Y'all are stupid. That's gross. That's what it is. Oh, God. No, this next one is so ridiculous. Dude, oh my god! And this is a lady. I thought it was a man. That's that's that's. <sighs> oh god. Doc who posed for explicit selfie style pic while caring for pregnant woman faces the sack. What's the sack? Getting fired. Oh, it's they were, hard the, to the say headline. The, sack the headline was trying to be clever. Yeah. It wasn't really clever. Basically, there was a doctor that while she was helping this woman deliver a, deliver baby, a baby, was taking a selfie. But her hand's still in the vagina. <laughs> Way one, up in there. One hand is in the vagina. The other one is taking a selfie like, hey, girl, right, right. like, this is what I'm doing. You're, you're, what? You're, you're dilated, but hold on. Like, who does, who does this? That? Like, bitch, what? I can't. I just. You took a picture with. <sighs> A vagina with a baby coming out of it. Well, you don't see the baby. You, see the baby. <laughs> you see just a hand up vagina's there. Vagina's already bad enough. And the selfie went. I mean, this picture went viral. They're like, she's in a lot of trouble now. She's this not- shit. It's in Malaysia at a hospital in Malaysia. And yeah, um, I can't really. <laughs> <laughs> doctors are out of control. Nurses, they say usually nurses, nurses do usually this. Do doctors are ridiculous. Whatever. They think they can do whatever the fuck they want to do. And this shit is tacky. Like, that's disgusting. Sometimes, Unethical. It's so many things. Sometimes wrong you just shouldn't that. be taking selfies at. I, like when you're delivering a baby and your hands up a woman's vagina. Are you serious? Yeah, start I mean, there. that's just, you know. <sighs> start there. Do it, do it, do it after you're finished. Just don't do just it. Just don't. No, but everybody's taking selfies now because everybody's narcissistic. With just, the vagina in the background? No, I'm saying after the like, pussy is out the way, oh, take the picture. Oh, yeah. like just delivered another one or some shit like that. Yeah, and then okay. show like the afterbirth on your shirt Okay, all oh, right. I mean, you know what I oh, mean? Like if you got to prove that you did that. Me the fuck I'm out. Sa- <laughs> this ain't gross the fuck out? It is. Playing like, this chick like a fucking flute right birth? now? But af- yeah, but after birth, birth. That's what took I'm just saying. That did that. Why do they call it? Rayland do that shit all day, though. She's like, <laughs> <laughs> that shit's hilarious. Some jobs you just shouldn't. I agree. That's nasty. Well, I thought you can your cell phone even be in the room? Right. Why is the and then who it's took supposed this? To be, you're supposed to be sterile. So I agree. What you what you Why? touching your phone for? Why? And then who took the picture? A nurse? Because really, another doctor. She did. <laughs> she How? Was, no, she was holding no, up the peace sign the with peace one sign hand, and then the hand over here, and so another hand was in the, the picture. Oh. Mm-hmm. Maybe yeah. the dad did it. 
<laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Can't. Okay. Last one. So choose between. Well, we got to talk about this plastic bag shit. We can't talk about the Instagram selfie because that's <laughs> fake. I looked it up. Damn. What about this one? <laughs> but the plastic bag, we can we can touch on both real quick. All right, you hit the plastic bag one real quick. Then. So in Asia, is mm. this China? Where in Asia? Right. Taiwan. I, I, I want to say it was Our Taiwan. Taiwan. So people think that it's a good idea to wear plastic bags um, as fashion in Taiwan. So like, especially Seven Eleven bags. So hmm. they. So like plastic Fashion bags that you just go in 7-Eleven, you buy some shit, they put it in the bag. They're using this as clothes and it's like a new craze and they're posting pictures and what the fuck? People are stupid. What is wrong? And they have like, they show pictures. Look at this shit. Let me see this. These bitches are posing. It's yes. dudes doing it too. <laughs> it's dudes, dudes doing it too. too. Wearing bags. Like, <laughs> so I just went grocery shopping at Ralph's. I'm gonna just put this bag on. Okay, what, it, it doesn't girl? work for the it doesn't work for the dudes. But the girls it doesn't work it. for any of them. Look it's at them. stupid. That's this shit is retarded. And then you know you those bags are thin as hell and see through. So they don't have on shit else. And they make you sweat. Yes. Gross. Like who thought of this? The girl said, shh. How did it catch on? <laughs> like so you get one idiot motherfucker to do this and then everybody's like, oh, this is a good idea. What? What? I'm getting old, man. I'm getting old. This, I'm just, I don't even think they got anything to do with age. I'm just, 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 just going to say it's just these this young people. It's just these young people. I mean, they all are really young, but this is stupid. It's just these young people. I just can't. How do skinny jeans won't. catch on? You know what I'm saying? But those actually look good on some people. Yeah, skinny jeans. That's, <laughs> that's actual clothes. Yeah, I'm like, that's real clothes. How dare you use a bag? But like, no. Only certain people are supposed to rock skinny jeans. True but story. you got these these fat motherfuckers trying to wear them. I mean, uh -uh. how did that catch on? You seen the video? Have I shown the video when I was in Burbank? That fat nigga that was wearing his girlfriend's pants. But that's just other people wearing like clothes, and then you like, oh, I can do it too, and then you just can't. But, but this is a bag. At least those are like actual. Clothes. Yeah, garments. this shit is not comparable to that. No. Like this is ridiculous. No, I, I see just, what you're I, saying. But right, I get your point. I but, just, mm -mm. people just what do a like lot of dumb shit, man. Hey. How do selfie sticks catch on? I mean, it's just so much dumb shit that goes on. I just, I'm getting old, man. Okay. We, real quick. Got uh -huh. this last one. We gotta uh, hurry up. Wife smash alarm clock over husband's head after he asked her for a good night kiss. Crazy bitch. I would have probably killed Crazy her. bitch. I'm not a morning person at all. I would have probably. She I would beat no, his this ass. Good night. This I, ain't morning. They're going to bed. Like, I don't care. I mean, they what were. Time or day it is. They were drunk. And, well, she was drunk. And all he said was, what about my good night kiss? That bitch picked up the alarm clock and started Beat him. beating him over the head with it. Damn, bitch. Okay. Is that serious? Yeah, it's time to reevaluate that situation. <laughs> like, the fuck? He ain't, he ain't ever asking for nothing ever again. Ever. Could you imagine if you'd asked for something? In this scenario, is he is he allowed to slap the Hell shit out of yeah. He's allowed yes. to beat the brakes yep. off this girl. I Yes. Stupid fucking broad, that man. Bitch crazy. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Because I would have beat her like a dude seriously <laughs> like how you just go ham on me for no fucking reason i'll be here like a dude and my my excuse would have been i didn't know it was her no you don't even need that bitch hit me with a clock i didn't that's know that's why her. i fucking hit her like are you serious because i couldn't i didn't know it was her your honor because clearly how did, how did you know because i would have not have expected this bitch to exactly. hit me with an alarm she clock lost that goddamn mind i'm with you crazy bitch. women see women love to be like uh men use uh, calling them crazy as a default. No, in this that's instance, crazy. That's, that's some crazy. psycho it's flat shit. Flat out fucking crazy. That's an ass whipping. Even if he did say some other shit that ain't in this story, bitch, you picked up a clock and beat him upside the fucking head with it. Are you serious? Why would it ever come to that? There is no excuse for that. So no. All you had to say was no. Uh, no. <laughs> that's it. Like oh my breath thing, baby. Oh no, like no, we're drunk. Like no. I, even if you want to curse him out if you ain't in the mood, whatever, but you're going to pick up some shit and hit him? With, like, that's crazy. It's a kiss. Whatever. I can't. Right. It's a fucking kiss. She really ain't like dude. She probably ugly, too. <laughs> she really ain't like dude. A kiss? Right. Fuck you mean a kiss? I wonder how she would feel if she said, let me, let me, uh, daddy take me somewhere, whatever she And then he's like beating her ass. And he was like, like no, I don't want to do that. Slap. Like, uh, okay, enough about her. Because this shit, interesting. Oh, Lord. <laughs> It's so ridiculous. That's why I have to talk about it because it is like, 
oh, no morals, no anything anymore. So I didn't even know this shit existed. I'm not surprised that it does, but I don't go looking for shit like this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this one kind of fell in your lap, huh? Like, I just saw this on my timeline and was like, wait, so there's their website, dating. I do air quotes for that because this is not dating. This is prostitution. But dating websites where um, they're strictly for sugar daddies or sugar mamas. And they said sugar baby. What's a sugar baby? Me. A young person. No. Oh. No, your person, person who wants to take care of. Oh, okay. Because I was like, it? sugar babies. All right. That's like a candy, right? <laughs> I don't know. So, yeah. So, there are these dating sites called seekingarrangement.com. That's catchy. <laughs> What's your price.com? Just get right to the point. <laughs> and then sugardaddyforme.com. More to the point. Like, at cougarlife.com to that, too. Like, Cougar well, Life, Cougar Life, yeah. I've heard of. Yeah. That, I, yeah. But these, um, yeah, so this is for women and men that are strictly looking to go on trips, get shit paid for the, whatever, for sex. What's the name of it? So, yeah. But they're wrapping it all up into, like, a pretty bow and package and calling it a dating site. No. Mm-mm. You're a whore. So get your life site. <laughs> uh, like. <laughs> get your bills paid. Get your, I'm talking about get your life. You get to go to Spain and your rent paid. <laughs> All Shit. you got to do. All you got to do is throw it back a little bit. <laughs> I can't. Nope. You're a thought. <laughs> <laughs> I can't deal. This is okay. I mean, it ain't hurt nobody, so yeah, it's okay. But I just don't understand why is this okay. Like, why are people... I think if... It's like a it's like a half and half. Because then you have the people that have the money who are that lonely to right, even, cause to even do it. Right, because I blame them too. Like, yo, lonely, to even do it. But then you ass. have the people that... Don't want to go out here and make their and own make money. their own money exactly. Lazy motherfuckers. So, it's it's an evil on two sides. And then you have the people that created these sites that's just capitalizing on both of these stupid motherfuckers. Now you, you know so you can't be mad at that person. It's so though. funny that we talking about this because I was watching Netflix earlier, mm -hmm. and they have a site dedicated to women meeting ball players, but the ball players not knowing. Basically, it's this chick hmm. that's in the, in in sports industry and oh. entertainment that gets wind of when athletes are showing up oh. somewhere and her clients are fuck they ain't nothing but bust downs hood rats right. whatever you want to call them and she'll text them telling them <laughs> michael jordan is gonna be here holy shit they pay a month they pay a monthly whatever and show up and she'll text them like and she says she had like like six the figures smallest as as rag fabric dress and just show yeah. uh, that she bought on the instagram boutique yeah and and she says she got a bunch up. of clients they all females of course but she got a bunch of clients and like she'll like go to different cities holy and when, shit when motherfuckers show up they got something she'll text whoever's in that city like come Danger. here wow straight up she's like a new age madam i can't even be mad at that though that's like <laughs> a 2015 you. type of madam. Like, like damn, that's it, OC. like that is. I, wow. I'll show, I'll show it to you. That just blew my mind. Mm -hmm. Do people not have morals and values anymore? <laughs> like, the mm -hmm. fuck. And is er like so everyone's just fucking lazy. No one wants to work. <laughs> I like working, not a regular. When I say that, I don't mean a nine to five job. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> let's just get that shit straight. <laughs> I don't mean that. Well, that's I mean, I like I'm not, I've never been that type of chick that just like, I did it for a year. I did not work. My fiance worked. I was bored out of my motherfucking mind. Like, I can't, I, this, it's not me. I can't like just be at home shopping, spending, and money wasn't an issue for us, but I was bored as fuck. I have to work. I have to earn my own money. Like, yeah, I don't know. I just, I can't. I can't do it. So I don't know how these women are just okay with this shit. And I don't need anyone having that much power over me. I think it's more like a mental thing for me. You can never have that much power over me where you just pay for everything and I'm fucking you and I just in return get what I want. I would rather just get it myself and yeah, I feel, choose I would feel to fuck you or not. Like, choose to fuck <laughs> yeah, like nothing, nothing surprises me anymore, man. Like I, it really doesn't, man. And I've been in LA how long? Five years. And nothing surprises me anymore. I mean, the first thing that people ask you when you step foot in this city is what do you do? So they already trying to size you up and that's men, women. This shit don't surprise me. It don't surprise me at all. 
I might know some motherfuckers that's on this fucking website, which is the funny part. That's not funny at all. Hmm. But I don't even compare the whole what do you do question to some lazy motherfuckers that are like whores that just don't want to work and just want things handed to them for sex. Like to me, that's two totally different things. No, no. So, I'm just like, saying people, I'm just that? saying people sizing you up regardless. So when I see something like this, that's what it is. You throw yourself on that website and then people are sizing you up via the fucking website. They're still sizing you up to see whether or not they can fuck with you. It's the same thing. Yeah. You know, but no, they know they can fuck with you on these sites because you make these. You're on this site because they got the millionaire match. They got all that shit. No, I'm saying, but he's saying that you get on the site and even still, you in a lineup. Like, yeah, they pick you. I mean, that's that's what it is. I mean, a lot of people make the argument that online dating is lazy inherently, anyway, right? Uh, I make that argument. I say that all the time. Well, this is online hoeing. I mean, oh, I agree. So online is just taking over everything. You got online shopping now. You got online. I like that though. uh, What's that Grubhub? Mm Whatever deliver shit that Mm -hmm. ain't even deliverable. I mean, you got online everything. So online hoeing was was bound to happen. That's what this is. Online hoeing was bound to happen. Already, <laughs> MySpace, Craigslist, Facebook, Craigslist, <laughs> Craigslist. Black people meet, Hello. Christian All Mingle, Christian Ooh. Mingle, Ooh. Christian Ooh. Mingle. I got a homie on. I got a homie on J Day. What's the Jewish one? J Day. J Day. Yeah. What? I, I know someone. <laughs> that was it's one for farmers too. I forget the name of it. Farmers. But farmers. It's, it's just for farmers. Yeah. Okay, I got any love too, but mm. I okay. I had Weefy out there. <laughs> they got everything. Huh? Well, the Seeking Arrangement website boasts an astonishing clientele of over 4.5 million <laughs> sugar babies, sugar daddies, and sugar mamas, and is active in 139 countries. It offers eight sugar babies for one sugar daddy. <laughs> yes. Wow. These motherfuckers must be paid. Pimping must online. Paid. Pimping online. That ain't pimping. You a trick. No, By definition. they're a trick. He's like, oh, you talking about the person that created it? Eight yes. to one, like, yes, that's damn, four point five million get on here, and then like trick them into thinking I'm about to have sex, <laughs> and then don't. Why would you do that? Because I just want just the want fucking money. The trip. Boom. There's, there's ways. There's ways around it. I know it is. Yeah. God. Mm-hmm. I can spend somebody real good. And then so <laughs> miss travel. Which I've actually heard of. It used to be <laughs> a site where like trips were booked, blah 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 blah. And then it turned into one of these. Like, well, they called it a travel dating space. So I guess if you're traveling and you meet people in wherever you're traveling, that's what it was. And now it turned into basically. That's not a bad idea. As it was, what is it now? One of these sugar daddy, <laughs> sugar mama, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, that wasn't a bad idea actually. I'm so if you're traveling alone or just with a friend or you know and then you just meet people in whatever country or city or state that you're in. So that's what that was, but yeah. Now this one is to meet and to But hit. now it says what it is is um if you're young, attractive and willing to go to misstravel.com and find yourself a sponsor. Sponsor. That's what they said to pay your <clears> way. <throat> Compromise, which is what they're calling it, is expected, of course. So this is like, oh, I want to travel somewhere, and if you pay for it, I'll fuck you. Didn't we do a story about a girl in particular that was basically trailblazing that shit? Mm-hmm. That little Asian chick, yeah. she was like she was 19. Overseas and, yeah. But she was going around, but she wasn't having sex with them, or she said she wasn't having sex with them, or whatever. Was that I can't the, even was that the same? She was just pr- she was just doing the girlfriend. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So she wasn't having sex with While she was traveling mm-hmm. around so with the guys. Says. Have, yeah, yeah. Whore. Well, the girl <laughs> part of the girlfriend thing is fucking. True. Mm-hmm. I mean, at some point. Yeah. She, right. But she's not there long enough to be that kind of girl. I mean, if you really think about it, though, relationships at some level, yes, you are a lot of men in general. <laughs> do pay for things to get ass so when you think about it you like you you spend money you take a girl out men come out of their pocket a lot more than a woman will on a date or whatever and ultimately it's to get some pussy so, uh, ultimately it's to get some pussy. yes yes it is 
It really is. So I man. never had to pay to get So no if that's the case, do you actually are. Do girls go on I dates? I never knowing? had to pay to get pussy. But well, if you're taking girls out and doing all this shit before women, you fuck, I only take a girl out that I'm interested in, and it wasn't for the pussy. There's been girls that I just fucked and didn't do shit. But fuck what them. I'm saying, I ain't never paid for no pussy. I ain't no trick. Don't do that. I ain't never done it. Never will. Listen, you don't have to like look at it that way, but that's what you're doing ultimately. I'm just letting you know. So if that's Sorry the case, to break it to you that the case, do girls no do girls go on dates? If that's knowing the case, that, that means every pussy? girl is a hoe is what you're saying. Okay, well you can call me what you want, <laughs> but I'm telling saying. you, that's what you're doing. Like if you if you spent a lot of money on a date before getting a pussy, and you want to fuck her, I'm not saying that you're taking her out because you want, but if at some point you want to fuck her in girls' minds. She's basically sizing up the date, how much you spent, what y'all did, all this shit before she gave you pussy. So I'm just letting you know you are paying for it. I ain't never paid One, for no pussy. Yes, yeah, you do it all the time. Me but neither. Just letting you know. I never paid for no pussy. Every time you come out of your goddamn wallet on a girl that ain't your motherfucking girlfriend, wife, or whatever, you paying for pussy. <laughs> Sorry to break that to you. <laughs> Women ain't gonna say that shit. I'm telling you that because I'm just real, but trust me. And women, we talk about shit like this to each other. I've had this conversation for years with my girlfriends. You're paying for it, one way or another. Trust me on that. So, sorry, homie. <laughs> Love you, boo. My pockets stay good. I ain't never paid I for I ain't no saying pussy. that you broke, I but if never I know that you've spent money on a no woman pussy. for dates or gifts or whatever, I ain't never paid you're paying for, no for it. I ain't never paid pussy either. Don't feel bad. <laughs> Never. <laughs> I ain't never paid for no pussy. And I never will okay. pay for no pussy. All right. <laughs> we will we will keep it like that. But you know, as your friend, I just felt that I should tell you that you are. You what have. does that mean for girls though then? That they are. You're basically saying you basically saying that every woman is a hoe. Whatever. You no, just nigga, call, call it what you want. Every woman a hoe or a prostitute. The thing is with sort. a woman, because our shit is so powerful, pussy is powerful. That's just that's the truth. And you've said it too. Pussy is power, pussy if, is you could, power. if you used it the right way. And women Here's use that shit Here's the right thing. way. If you dealing with a dude that understands how that works. Most men that don't shit, though. I do, god damn it. Okay. I, ain't, I ain't never spent no money on no fucking pussy. Are you kidding me? It's too easy to replace. Are you kidding me right now? Are I you love, kidding me right now? He could get, look. Are you kidding me right now? Friend, I am not saying shit. intentionally like, oh, I'm going to pay you if you, if you fuck me. That's not what I'm saying. But you have paid for pussy. Trust me. You have. You have. Sorry. Well, okay. Break have, you ever, you. have you ever went on a date and then had sex after? Yeah. That's what she said. You paid for pussy. <laughs> She's, I'm saying. she's not saying that you actively was like, okay, I'm about to go this day and fuck Right, but, that's not what but, I'm saying. I'm not but, calling you a lame, like, you go, I'm going to pay you if you fuck me. That's not what but, I'm but saying. But if you went on a date and you fucked her after the date. I've also, has, I've also had scenarios where I just met them. There was no. And you fucked. Okay. There was no exchange in, in monetary. Like, I mean, I you know what I'm saying? That. Like, I mean, I'm not saying every time. No. You pay I don't get that. If you went on a date, she's saying you went on a date. Either way, but either way it goes, that that argument, that's a snowball argument, and you're basically calling Dude. all women prostitutes no, and all I'm not. dudes. Yeah, yes, you are. You no, just I'm not. you just said that. You no. just, yeah, that's if, what it if, if you say, like. If you say the girls, went, if guys went on a date and they, and they pay for the date and they had sex after, then technically the girls went on a date. Let me just and put it out there. I'm not a hoe, but I'm not fuck. fucking a broke dude. If you ain't taking me out or spending some goddamn money on this motherfucking day, on our first day, I'm not paying for that shit. If you, if you think you're going to get some ass at any point in this relationship and you ain't took me nowhere, you can call me a hoe if you want. But pay for the penis. Pay just, just letting you know. For the penis. I'm just the real bitch to let y'all asses know. Mm -hmm. Women ain't saying that shit. I'm telling you what it is. So you can get mad or say what the fuck you want. You've paid for pussy. And you probably will continue to. So <laughs> my gay ass, say what the fuck you want. Get upset. But shit. I'm just giving you the real shit of how women operate. <laughs> shit. So, well, you basically called all women hoes. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No. You just called no, them all hoes. That's exactly what you did. And my definition of a hoe is a, a, a woman that sleeps around like with multiple men. That's my definition of a hoe. So okay, okay, whatever. Well, a prostitute. Whatever. Call it what you want, but you've paid for it. Y'all heard it here first. One way or all another. Hoes. <laughs> Women ain't for one, they don't give a fuck. They ain't gonna take it like that. They're not gonna look at themselves that way and they're gonna continue to do what the fuck they're doing. I've had this conversation. The shit ain't gonna change and dumbass men are still gonna do it. So it really doesn't matter. So basically, doesn't matter. you shouldn't pay for dates. I mean, not me in particular because hey, I don't like pussy. But the thing is, it'll still continue. 
Of course, it's the cycle. It's just what is. It, it's just reality. This is. It is what it is. Like it ain't gonna change <laughs> unless you plan on never taking a woman out or spending no money on her. Then that's me. Hey, <laughs> unless it's my mama, and we not fucking out the ones. <laughs> that's gross. <laughs> Tell me about it. But I have no doubt that, you know, I know for a fact you pull women all the time without paying for shit. But I'm just letting you know at some point in your life, sir, you have paid for pussy. Sorry to break that to you. So you think- <laughs> I'm sorry to tell you, but you have. Where's my trail mix? Oh. That's utterly ridiculous. Hey, call it what you want. Just saying. And that is not me calling. I know so niggas, women are whores. I know <laughs> niggas that actually, they. Ha- I know dudes that actually have to okay. do that. Like, I know guys that have to do that. You know what I mean? I know they have no, nothing going for them other than the fact that they, you know what I'm saying? I know that. But, but I to just make broke a sta- it down But to, to make a statement like that, well, you basically said... <laughs> Women are going to deny it. They're not going to. I mean, a real woman will just tell you, hey, it is what it is. You still going to fuck me and you still going to pay for it. So it doesn't really head. matter, will it? What's that? Nikki's cracking So me. it doesn't matter. <laughs> if Nikki's the pussy's the good, you're still going to take me out on a date. You're still going to buy this fucking gift. I mean, you so still you think, so you think, it so doesn't you think, matter. So your argument that you're making right now. And even if you think the pussy good, you're still going to argu- do your, your shit argument, just to Your get argument it. It that you're matter. making, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Matter. The argument that you're making right now is that dudes do everything, everything for a woman just to fuck her. And that's what you're saying? Yes. What about dudes that do shit for their female friends that they don't want to fuck? I do shit for you all the time. We ain't fucking. So that's, that's not valid here then. That makes no sense. But you just basically said that whenever a dude does anything for a woman is to get to pussy. To fuck. Like, what When the they fuck? do anything for a woman is to get pussy. That's what you just said. A woman said. clearly that you're interested in. Like, why are you trying to twist this and make I'm, it I'm fit trying what to, you want I'm to trying fit. to get you to clarify what no, you're saying you know because what, what you're doing I'm right saying, now, dude. no, because I don't agree with that shit. You don't have to agree for me to still say it. <laughs> that's, what try, that's what I'm trying like, to get clarification because I don't agree with that shit. You don't have to, but I'm just telling you what it is. <laughs> you don't have to agree. You'll never agree with that because you don't want to look at yourself like that. I'm just letting you know what women It has nothing to do with me looking at myself any kind of fucking way. You just called all women hoes and you said all niggas was tricks i did like I, all of them across the board if i was calling all women hoes i would just say all women are hoes that's just how i operate look you know that so <laughs> i didn't say that don't twist my words i'm through, with, the, I'm through with this conversation Great. man. i'm through with this conversation because because this shit is bullshit right and now you're talking change. crazy it Joe. Won't change you're talking anything. mad crazy right now <laughs> you won't change anything and to try to group me in with the rest of the clown ass? are you fucking kidding me right now? i ain't never paid for no pussy a day in my life well, and i never me. will <laughs> if you ain't never paid for pussy Follow me on Instagram. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I never pay pussy ever. Never will. Call it what you want. And I walk bitches across the street every day, and I do not want they pussy. But you don't like pussy. So. Boom. <laughs> don't think you know, if I'm doing you doing something nice for you, I want you to bend over, girl. Okay. I want you to leave. That's what I want you to do. That's why I'm helping you. For a rude awakening, fucking with Ron. <laughs> so just for the record, B. Walt has never paid for pussy. Nope. Okay. Nah. All right. That's why we friends. Never happened. Nope. Okay. So follow us though, <laughs> social misconduct Meow. on Instagram, social misconduct on Twitter, and social misconduct radio on Facebook, and catch all of our archives on our website, socialmisconduct.com. What else? Follow us on Snapchat. <laughs> follow us on Snapchat. Follow her on Snapchat. Follow me on Snapchat, where um, B Wall to buy me a drink, but we ain't fucking, and he ain't paying for this pussy. <laughs> but you'll see him in my Snapchat, and it grow forever. I don't understand how I keep getting caught in this Snapchat yours, Ron? shit, man. My Snapchat is at Spideron. S P I D E R H O N. My Snapchat is whatever. I don't pay for pussy. I don't pay. For I ain't never paid for no. Pussy. Never pay. Never pay. Never pay Punani. That's the, that's the name. That's of it. it. That's the Snapchat. Name. <laughs> Never paid Punani. I like that. That should be your new Instagram everything. Oh my god. If there is nothing That's else, the name of the episode. What? I Never pay Punani. Never pay for Punani. Okay. I can roll with that. I like that. But then I'm gonna do a dot 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 what you do. <laughs> 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 All right, y'all. Next week, same time, same place. <laughs> You're listening to Social Misconduct with Mick and B-Wall, only on L.A. Talk Radio.